today I'm going to be showing you what I brought in my travel makeup bag on vacation. If you don't know already, I'm sure you do, if you watched my previous video and if you follow me on Instagram because I was Instagramming away on vacation. There was just so much to take pictures of and I couldn't help myself. Anyway, I brought this awesome bag on vacation from Victoria's Secret. I am not sure if they sell this anymore, but I bought it because I saw Gina on PVP, well, BF vs. GF, a vlog that they did. She actually got one for her birthday, and I ran to the store to pick one up for myself because it is the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to show you what is in it. I always like doing this. Ready? Okay, that was totally a fail. So that was my awesome attempt to be cool, but that totally backfired on me. So this is what I was supposed to do. Just, you know, this is what it looks like when you unbutton it. So these actually come unbuttoned. You already saw that. I love how you can see through the bags too. It looks like it's a lace like detail and it's just plastic but it looks really cool but I love how you can see inside of each and every bag and I kept my liquid products in a little sandwich bag and it is like completely dirty so I brought my Maybelline instant age or wine concealer and I recently picked this up actually on vacation because I didn't bring a foundation. So I chose this Neutrogena oil-free makeup and it's a blemish treatment with salicylic acid. And my shade is in 20. I was not the lightest shade. So that was like a big celebration in my book. I really like this foundation so far and I was wearing it with the concealer. I didn't think that I needed to bring a foundation on vacation. So one night I just used a concealer and then I realized I really miss my foundation, especially for pictures, because I wanted my skin to look really nice for pictures. And then I brought my Hoola bronzer from Benefit, a highlighter from Tarte. This is in the shade Angelic, and it's just a really nice light golden highlighter, and it's a sample size. And then I brought along one of my favorite blushes. This lasts all day long. I'm serious. It doesn't get blotchy. It's gorgeous. It's in the shade Blissful. It's a beautiful peach. Love this blush so much. And then I couldn't leave my house without the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. This is perfect if you have acne. If any little spots come up on your face, this conceals and hides them like that instantly. Just makes your skin look flawless. Love this concealer, but hate it for underneath of the eyes. So it's just great if you have any spots. The next section, I have some lip products and eyeliners and mascara. So again, I have them in little sandwich baggies just in case any lids pop off or, I don't know, something explodes. It will be secure in this little baggie. Well, I hope it would be secure. So I brought along the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. I also brought along the waterproof version. That is on my vanity. But I wore the regular one much more than the waterproof because I don't wear makeup to the beach. So it was kind of pointless for me to even bring it along. The It Cosmetics Your Brows But Better. It's really great because it has a little brush on one end and then the product in the other end. I brought along the Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes. I believe it's in the shade Bliss. It's a really pretty aqua blue, which is why I brought it along on vacation for a pop of color. And then I brought along my Alme Intense Eye Color, and this is in the color... Where is it? Seriously? This is in the color Brown Topaz. And I went to use this on vacation and I was cranking it and cranking it and cranking it. And I realized there was none left. I used it all. I did not know I used all of this eyeliner. So I didn't have a brown eyeliner on vacation. So I just wore the blue. In the next baggie, I have some lip products and it looks like little perfumes. So I brought along the Burt's Bees lip gloss in Flutter, and I actually didn't even wear this. I also brought along the Revlon lip gloss in the shade Crystal Water, and again, didn't wear this. And I brought along Posy Tint a Little Mini. I did wear this. It left a really pretty light pink stain on my lips. 
And I brought along the MAC lipstick in the shade Candy Yum Yum. I did wear this and oh, I love this color. It's so cool and I got a lot of compliments. And then for the two perfumes that I brought, I brought this Rollerball in Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Perfume. And then I brought this little spray that I put some Bobbi Brown Beach Perfume in and it just smells like sunscreen and... I really like it. It's a hit or a miss for some people, but I like it to bring to the beach. I brought a little tiny Vaseline Lip Therapy to apply on my lips if they got chapped. In the next bag, I have an eyeshadow that I brought along. It's from Bare Minerals, and it's in the shade The Top Shelf. You get two different shades, and I actually bought this right before my trip because Jessie James Decker put up a makeup tutorial, and she was saying how this is her favorite eyeshadow, and I had to go out and get it. I had some like points added up for Ulta, so I got this practically for free, but I really like the shades. It's a really nice light champagne and a really gorgeous bronze color. They look gorgeous together. I never tried Bare Minerals eyeshadows before this. I brought along this really old professional little bottle that I'm trying to get rid of because I do have a new one in my vanity, but I thought, eh, what the heck, I'll bring it along and try to use it. And for brushes, I brought a little set of Eco Tools brushes. Um, I have a little concealer Eco Tools brush as well as all the little tiny mini eye brushes and then also a little blush brush that I used. Another brush that I brought is this Eco Tools Retractable Kabuki Brush for my powder, and this worked out really great. Also, this Urban K Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is the little mini in the shade Sin. And then I also brought my little lip plumper tool if I wanted to get my lips plumped. And last but not least, in the last baggie, I have my eyelash curler. My powder from Physicians Formula, it's the Mineral Wear Talc-Free Mineral Face Fat. It's the Mineral Wear Talc-Free Mineral Face Powder in Translucent Light. I cannot leave home without this powder. It is amazing. And then I have in a little sandwich baggie some hair ties. A hand sanitizer. This one smells really good. It's from Purell. It's Inspiring Island Getaway. And I thought that was so cute for the beach. Some Q-tips because you never know if you need a Q-tip. Um, some scissors. Some bobby pins. A little mini eyebrow tweezer. <laughs> and then I also have a nail file that I wrapped up in this tissue. <laughs> and last but not least, I brought some of the Lush Luster Dusting Powder, and this is a little sample, but I liked using this, like, on my collarbone for a little bit of a sheen. It looks really pretty in the sun. So that's about it. That's everything makeup-wise that I brought on vacation with me. I'll see you all very soon. Bye!